Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you how to make um, a nail art display um, like the one I have. I'm sure there's other ways how to make it and I'm sure somebody can tweak it or make it better but this is how I do it and it's quick, easy and doesn't cost a lot of money. All you're gonna need is one of these certificate um, picture frame things. I got it at Dollar Tree so it was a dollar. This is how it looks. You're gonna need a file. Where's my camera? You're gonna need a file, um, paint, and this paint I got it from Walmart. It's a folk art extreme glitter, and this is royal blue. It was like a dollar sixty or something like that. It was on sale, and then you're gonna need a paintbrush. This is a cheap um, student brush from Alpha, and you're also gonna need foam board. You could also find this at Dollar Tree. You can cut it up. You can use anything you want, but this is what I use, and um, you can use any color background you want. Um, all you're going to do is just open your picture frame and take out the glass, take out the backing. Just be careful that you don't break these little tabs. These little tabs right here, because that's what holds the back of this, and make sure you don't break this. Like This is a Dollar Tree product, and it is kind of cheap. But if you're careful, if you're careful, you won't break it. So. And there we go. And then you just wipe it off. Just give it a good wipe real fast. And then you get your paint. I use a lid from one of my little containers that I get from the Dollar Tree. Squeeze it on my lid. Some paint. My paintbrush. I'll leave that right there so you can see. And all I do is I just go to town. And I always do two coats only because I want it to be super, super glittery and covered. You can make them thick or thin as it, however you want. Make sure you cover it all. And this paint dries fairly quick. So whenever you're done with one side, you just keep working and then you'll be ready to do a second coat in a while. Just make sure you do even strokes, that way it'll cover evenly. And don't press too hard. Okay, so now let's do the second coat. You can do as many coats as you want, but I usually do two. But look how pretty this is looking. It's a royal blue. And don't worry if you get paint everywhere. This is washable. It comes right off with water. This is how it turned out. Very pretty color. And now here comes the fun part, decorating. Um, you're going to need your E. Um, your E6000 glue. <laughs> 
your E6000 glue, um, whatever decorations you want to put on. I'm going to put these two bowls and a few of these crystals. Okay, so you just get your bowl and you if I can get the glue out and you squeeze your glue out and you just put some on there And stick it wherever you want it. And I'm gonna put one on this corner. Like that. You can also stick more glue at the bottom if you think it's not gonna stick. Anyways, it's not gonna show. Then you take your other one. Do the same. So I put one here and one over there. And then with your glue, you're going to put a little bit on. I hate this glue, it runs. Whenever you're not using it, it all comes out. So this is how it turned out. All you would do is let it sit for 24 hours so the glue could dry. And then you just get your thing. Put your board on there. And then take the backing like that and then whenever you're gonna put your nail tips on I have a few so like whenever you put your nail tips on I have mine this is my display board 
And this is the one I'm going to just keep there in case I need another one. And I have another one I'm going to do for the giveaway. Okay, whenever you put your tips on, all I use is my ones from my pro hand. What I do is... So all I do, excuse my dirty fingers, it's because I was painting. All I do is I just, um, like I'm going to put it there, I just, did you hear that? It popped and it's because it pressed the hole in it right there. And then I get my um, glue, my E6000 glue, and then I just put a little bit in there. That way I'll make sure it'll stay in. So that way they don't fall out. So I'm going to put this one here because this is how I had it on my hand. Right here. So it'll be like that. So I'm going to do the other ones. You can put glue on the bottom of your nail so it can really stick on there so it won't move around. That's what I'm going to do. So it'll stick to the board. And all you do when, when it dries is just clean up a little bit. So that's how I did mine. And then I just hang it up on the wall with these little hooks. And that's it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this um, DIY. Here's the one I'm going to include. Well, I don't know if I should just include this one or let, yeah, let um, whoever choose whatever color they want. Um, and then if you have like... I, um, like glue just like this just let it dry completely and then you can peel it off like that that way you won't see any of that so that's how that one came out and I did paint the other one with the holographic one and this is how it turned out it's still a little bit wet but it's just like a black it has a black base and all it does it looks like um, holographic it's pretty Anyways, that's how um, this one turned out. Um, 